Welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video, we will be demonstrating how to auto deploy your Vue.js, React.js, or Angular application to GitHub pages using GitHub Actions. For the demonstration purpose, we will be using Hello World Vue.js application, which I have already created and it's running. Firstly, we need to create the GitHub workflow and specify all the jobs to be done under deploy section. For that, go to the project directory create a directory named github.github .github. inside .github directory create another directory named workflows inside workflows directory create a file named deploy.yml this is our github action file so let's go to our editor and configure this So I have already configured the, this deploy action. So I'll quickly explain it how it works. This is the name of our uh, GitHub action, which is deployed to GitHub pages. The on parameter shows when whenever the code is pushed to master branch, this action will be triggered. So here we will change from master to develop as github pages only allow deployment via master branch so we will be pushing our development code to develop branch coming to the jobs we have deploy job here you can have multiple jobs here that can be unit testing or other jobs so we have only one job that is deploy its name is deploy application that runs on ubuntu latest so under this job we have four steps first is checkout repo what does what this does is check uh, create a clone of your repository to the <coughs> workflow system which is ubuntu so we have used standard action from the github marketplace then we will create a node environment again for this we are using standard github action from github marketplace here with parameter we have specified the node version that is 10.x next step is installing packages and build application so first we will run npm install to install our view cli and yarn this may vary from framework to framework second step is installing all your packages of project from package.json and last step is building the application so from yarn build we will be getting a dist folder which we will be deploying to master branch so our last step is deploy again we have used standard github action from the github marketplace which is git publish subdirectory action for this action to work we need to specify several environment variables so first is repo so we will be deploying this to the same repo so we have created uh, return self which uh, to which branch we need to deploy we will be deploying this to master branch which folder we need to deploy it is the dish folder which is created after the build process and the last environment variable is github token so now we have created our deploy.yml action so we will push this repository to remote added github workflow i will add the remote origin Now I will push this to develop branch. If you have occurred some error, let me check. 
so I was on master branch and pushing to develop so I need to specify the master and then push to develop let's go to our github switch to develop so we we have our development code here let's see if the action is triggered or not as we can see the deploy to github pages action has been triggered when we click on commit message we can see all the jobs running inside it so that is deploy application and these are the steps so as we can see the first three steps are already done and it's on the fourth step so let's wait for the packages to install and as we can see all our steps from the deploy action has been completed so let's go to master branch and check if the dist folder is there yes as we can see on master branch we have the static files which can be deployed to github pages so let's deploy to github pages from settings here i'll choose master branch as you can see your site is ready to be published at this let's visit this website it takes few minutes to get reflected on this website so let's wait as we can see my view same localhost application is now deployed to github pages I would like to add one point here if you are not able to see your application running at github pages you need to add config file where you need to give a specific path for the production environment so this is the name of your github repo and it will start working now I will make some changes to my application and show you the changes reflected to github pages as well so i have added these changes now let's push this to remote repository Now let's push. Let's go to GitHub. Go to Actions. As we can see, our deploy action has already been triggered. let's wait for this to complete as you can see now all steps are done let's go to our github pages url let's refresh the changes are being reflected here thanks for watching our video if you have any queries regarding this you can ask in the comment section below thank you